Today is December 31st, 2015, the last day of 2015. Uh, this is a litter of nine Sheba Doodle puppies plus one. <laughs> that little girl right there, or big girl girl, um, that is the one we called Kata did from uh, um, Powder's litter, born on the 2nd of November. And all of her siblings have gone home, so she's rooming with these guys for a couple of days. Her mommy and daddy will be here to pick her up on Saturday. Today, of course, being Thursday, so she'll only be here a couple more days. And uh, the rest of them, these are the... This is the litter of Sheba Doodles born on November 22nd. And their mom is our beloved China Blue. She's our house dog, or one of our house dogs, I should say. And uh, daddy, of course, is Boaz. Uh, due to the chaos that was going on at the time these guys were born, holidays, which is why I'm kind of behind things. I'm sorry, everybody. I've been on the road getting uh, Powder's puppies home um, and the holidays in between. So, you know, we've all been busy. And as I say to people, the busier we are, the better it keeps us going. So, okay. Now, I did not name these puppies as I usually do. I didn't come up with a theme, didn't come up with ID names. Most are renamed anyway. But for right now, uh, as behind as I am, it's going to make things a little less complicated because I will be referring to them as uh, collars, um, collar colors. There are four girls and five boys, and we will begin selections as soon as uh, this video is published. Okay, I'm going to be putting the hammer down. We need to get moving along. Uh, I already know who the person that is that is first choice on our list based on those that are waiting for later litters. So hopefully we'll get things rolling along in the next few days, beginning today. All right, there's our red girl. This is a fat roly-poly litter. <laughs> It must have something to do with uh, China. She is a sweet, sweet girl. Um, I've had her since she was a puppy. Brought her all the way up here from Georgia. It was a two-day trip we took almost two years ago. About a year and a half ago. I can't. It was in the summer. I know it was hot. So it was probably about a year and a half ago. Um, she was. She's almost two years old. All right. And uh, let's see. There's our yellow collar girl. All right, let's see, we'll get some face shots too. Oh, you're all wet. You just drank water, didn't you? This is our brown collar. Oh, brown boy, you can see how fat and tubby they are. <laughs> you guys are too funny. <laughs> Hopefully I don't forget anybody. Oh, there's our big girl, that's Katie did. Katie did, yeah, the one that I had to keep had to be the one that I always have trouble pronouncing. There's our pink girl. Um. Her coat is a little bit wavier, it looks like, than some of her siblings. Uh, this has been a litter that's been a challenge to keep clean. They all got baths day before yesterday, and that was the reason I didn't update them that day, because they were soaking wet. Um, but uh, a lot of it has to do with mom. Mom got a bath, too, before she came back to the house. Let's just put it that way. Okay, this is our purple collar girl. Again, a little bit more curl and wave to her coat. They're all very soft and fleecy coats. But I do notice there is a little bit of a difference in the texture. Um, so I just want to point that out in case that has any influence on your decision. You can see our red one. See, she's a little bit straighter, as is our yellow one. Okay, there's our blue boy. Now you're just wet, so it's really hard to say <laughs> whether you're curly or whether, well, not curly, none of them are curly. They're just more wavy. Um, all right, there is our light brown, I mean, excuse me, light green boy. All right, there's our light green boy. I hope you guys are able to get a good look at these guys. I'm looking through the viewfinder, so my perspective is a little different than yours. We'll be watching it on the video. All right, dark green. I'm just gonna hope that I hit everybody. All right, there's one. There's your face. I believe I do have close-ups of their faces when they were a couple weeks younger on the website on their still shots. There's the dark blue boy. Ouch. Not my feet, people. Dogs. All right. Oh, my phone. There is Gray Boy right there. Stop. Let go of my pants, honey. That's Pink Girl, and she's got a real tight hold on my pants here. 
All right, she let go. Purple. There's purple right there. She's one of our girls. They're marked very, very similar. Okay, there's our brown. There's our gray. There's our dark green eating my foot. I need to get my clogs clean so I can protect my toes. There's dark blue. There is purple. Okay, there is gray. There's light green. Oh, and with regard to the weights, um, they're all very close in size. Uh, I think our dark green is our smallest. I didn't weigh him, but I did weigh gray, and gray was seven pounds. So we may have some that are slightly under and maybe a couple that are a little bit over, like maybe brown. <laughs> like I said, these are fat, pudgy puppies. I am very, very happy with our from. Um, we've been having good poo, and uh, the puppies seem to like it. They eat it well. This is a very, very, very good eating litter. Every time I put their food down, when I first started feeding them solid food, they just clean it right up. We also have decided that as long as they're looking as if they're, they're getting enough nutrition from mom in their first, uh, first weeks, Instead of trying to start them on food at three weeks, we're holding off to about four weeks. I think that that has actually improved their digestive system. I'm not sure that puppies are really ready. It's always a trial error, trial and error, but I don't think that puppies are quite ready to eat at three weeks. Now, if mom was not providing for them enough, obviously we would supplement. Um, but in this case, mom, phew, they've been fat and tubby since they were born. <laughs> So I really do think that my last two litters have done very, very well digestive-wise, poop quality-wise, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I do think it has made a difference. It's something that I ran across uh, on the Internet, and I decided to give it a try. So with our warming protocol, uh, the good food, which is from large breed puppy, from gold, F-R-O-M-M. -M. And uh, other practices, of course, we clean and scrub and bleach every single day in their boxes. Oh, I know. You guys got toys over there to tug on. You don't have to tug on me. Hopefully, I have introduced everybody. Let's see who's this. Did I introduce you to Yellow? Oh, by the way, Yellow, who is <laughs> naturally peeing, um, she is the only one in this litter that has a blue eye. Their mom, of course, has two blue eyes but it just was not in the genetics. This time around I have blue eyes. Um, it's kind of hard to get her to still, still enough to actually see. I did take a picture of it on their page on my website. Okay, so once again, this is a litter. They are five and a half weeks old of sheep -a doodles Don't know if any are gonna actually be available. Uh, unlikely, based on the size of our reservation list. If you have any questions or would like information about becoming part of our reservations, you can uh, contact us through our website. That's www.law. P D O O D L E K, the, the number nine, manor, M A N O R dot com. That's Law Padoodle Kennel, excuse me, Law Padoodle K9 Manor dot com. All right, and our email is there. You can try and get a hold of us, um, and we'll give you more information. You can visit our website. We've put as much information as we can pictures of our farm, pictures of our parents. Uh, most of everything that I can think of. The only thing I haven't had time to update are our wonderful testimonies um, that people email us. I've got a page started. I just haven't had uh, enough time to sit down and start incorporating those into my website, but hopefully that will hap happen sooner than later. Okay, so thank you very much for viewing our puppies. And uh, once again, Happy New Year and God bless.